larger but it's during the day my people like to come on at night uh, but oh now, yeah I guess that's it. how it is sometimes and, but that's okay yeah but I'm excited to have you on here um mm -hmm. first and foremost I want you to introduce yourself um to my audience and just kind of tell them a little bit about you all right sure so hello everyone um my name is melody sheree i am super excited about being a part of the pretty girl experience conference that's happening next weekend in orlando florida so i hope you guys are there um i am a producer cast member of the number one show on the open Winfrey network Love it <laughs> I am producer and cast member on the number one show on the Oprah Winfrey Network, Love Yay. Marriage Huntsville. Um, I am also a recording artist, actress, um, and um, I still teach. I have a master class that I teach as well. And I really just, you know, through my um, authenticity, when it comes to, you know, my life, my marriage, divorce, and all of that, um, I have, you know, been able to really move towards women empowerment and mm -hmm. what it looks like rebuilding um, when life happens. And so yeah. I'm super thankful. Thank you. Thankful to you for allowing me to be a part of your conference next weekend. Yes. Well, let me, mm -hmm. let me you make it look so good though. <laughs> let me tell oh, you thank you. You came out with your song. I bump it in my mm -hmm. car. <laughs> Gave you five years to cut off. Like, I'm yeah. So bump it. But it's, it's amazing and incredible how you were able to just channel what you were going through utilize it in your music and then mm -hmm. so many people clearly were empowered because baby didn't it go viral the numbers were off the chart yeah right? absolutely yeah mm -hmm. we charted um telltale signs charted to number one um my single down charted to number one and so you know it has just been really amazing to have so many support and see so many women um come you know what i mean like so yeah. many women, they're saying they can't see me. I don't know why y'all I can see myself, but I don't know how it looks on Facebook. Um, but so many women coming together and supporting each other um, and being able to, you know, pull the pieces of us that have been broken and pull those together and make each other whole, you know? Yeah. So that has been kind of the most amazing part of the entire experience. Yeah. How are you able to balance it all? You seem like, like a real... Mm. <laughs> like, to be a mom and a serial entrepreneur mm -hmm. on TV, like how, like, how do you do it? So, you know, I do a lot of multitasking okay. um, with everything that I have going on and everything that I have to do. Of course, I have to do multiple things at a time. So, um, for example, I was downstairs, you know, packing orders while my kids were up here grabbing an after school snack. Then I ran out here to do a, you know, quick live with you. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to go pick up my baby girl and come back and pack some more orders. Um, wow. I just try to really utilize every second of the day. Mm -hmm. I don't like the feeling when I go to bed or I have in the past when I would go to bed and be like, dang, if I had to just you know, stayed up another hour, gotten up an hour earlier, I could have gotten all the stuff done that I wanted to get done. I don't like that feeling. So I really work hard to utilize every second of the day. Wow, that's that's so yeah. like empowering, so encouraging. Um, I don't want to hold you long because I know you're busy, but I want to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. If you were to give a woman on here who's tuning in now some advice on how to just bounce back when life mm -hmm. happens, what would you say to her? So what I would say is one and one of the biggest things for sure is surround yourself with the right people who are going to push you and not let you sit down and have a pity party. Yeah. Um, have, <laughs> have people around you who are going to be like, girl, get up. Come on, let's go. You got purpose. You got stuff to do. There's a mission at play. Let's yeah. go. Um, and sometimes that even means cleaning out your circle. Sometimes yeah. that means certain people having to be removed and that's okay too. Yeah. So you have to be okay when you're in a place where you are trying to rebuild, when you are trying to heal, you have to be okay with being alone sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You have to be okay 
with some of the things or people even that you were used to and had gotten comfortable with or who you thought would be around forever. Sometimes you have to be okay with letting those things and people go and um, embracing whatever the newness is that God has for you because putting yourself together when you've been broken takes a lot of work. It takes dedication. It takes, you know, um, finding a new mindset. It takes cleansing of the heart, cleansing of the mind, and everybody's not going to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it the way you're doing it. And you have to, you have to understand that maybe they're not meant to. And so if that means that you have to cut ties and you have to cut ties, I feel like this, as long as you aren't wishing ill on nobody, you ain't out here hurting nobody, you ain't out here doing nothing to nobody, it shouldn't matter who you choose to have in your life or not have in your life. You move on your purpose, you do what you have to do, and you don't have to answer to nobody but your creator who and your God. Anything anybody else got to say about it, they really don't matter. Come on. So that's how I move every day. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, and I sleep very well at night. <laughs> very well now. <laughs> very well. So let me ask you this, with with you being even in the public eye and with everything mm -hmm. transpired, what kept you in a space where you were sane? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't yeah. know how I could have even made it past that. Like with you being, it's one thing to go through things behind the scene, but mm -hmm. then it, when it hits public, like how, how did you sustain? Was it just that you had a close group of people that kind of kept you strong or is it just innate resilience? So for one, you do have to have inner resilience, of course. Um, and so I think for me, you know, when I look at the strength of my ancestors, when mm -hmm. I think about, um, you know, my, my great grandmother, my grandfather, and I think about everything, look, when I take time to look back at things, I know that that challenges that they overcame and that they stood strong in despite whatever, um, I, I understand that I possess that same strength. And so it was already somewhat within me because it's in my bloodline, you know, Come what I'm on. You um, <laughs> it's in my bloodline. Mm -hmm. Um, but I definitely too, you know, had a group of people who have been a one since day one and who, you know, they didn't require a lot of me mm. as it pertains to their needs, but they were there for me to make sure I was still pushing towards my purpose. So my mother, my manager, yeah. um, you know, there, there's just a small group of people that, had my back, my friend Brittany, we've been friends since college, my friend Dwayne, we've been friends since I was 22, 23. Like wow. these are people in my life who've been, who've been there with me, who were at my wedding, who were, you know, who saw me when I was working hard, building, pregnant, having babies, building a family and doing all these things. And then they were also there with me when they saw all of that go away. And they yeah. just refused to let me lay flat on my back and I keep going. They refused to let that happen. So, um, you know, those were things, those were people um, who, who were present and, um, who, who understood where I was and, and didn't push off too much at the time of what they needed, but more so let, what can I do? How can I help? Um, and then, like I said, that bloodline, that resiliency that's already present there, you know, at the end of the day, I recognize purpose. I recognize God's purpose in my life. So you as a woman, it's anybody, but I love my women. Um, you have to, understand what your purpose is you have to recognize that purpose and you have to make up in your mind that mm -hmm. nobody nor I say this all the time nobody nor nothing trumps God's purpose I don't care what it is who it is mama daddy brother sister auntie uncle husband wife it doesn't matter children right. either even nothing nobody trumps God's purpose you got to stay on purpose and if it's going against purpose then it got to go and that's just what it is and that's how I move well, can I tell you this? Your glow up is like evident. I love some I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm all for high self-esteem, honey. All day, every day. It'd be the walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be the walk. It'd be the walk for me. <laughs> so like, I, but you know, for me, I mm -hmm. love seeing a woman just all in her authentic self. Like mm -hmm. you can tell, yep. like it's genuine. You ain't like it. Like I always say, some of us just got that itch that you can't buy. It's just yep. you just got it, you know. So it's a beautiful thing to see. Oh, oh. there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing even to yeah. see your journey. And believe it or not, it's a testament even to others who are watching from afar that hey, if she was able to make it, I can make it. Absolutely. And so, I'm so grateful to have you on board for the pretty girl experience we about Aww. to turn up it's <laughs> i can't be. wait <laughs> i can't wait so if you haven't registered you guys need to go ahead and register get your tickets don't miss out 
Um, you know, it's going to be amazing. This is your, what year is it again? You told me on my live. This is year eight. Yeah, year eight. So it's not some new thing that's happening. You know, nothing's wrong with new things. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is once you've done something a few times, it gets better and better and better. So, um, yes. you know, eight is the number of infinity. You need to be here. Um, you know, I'm going to be there. I can't wait. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mel, for coming in. I know you're busy again. Thank you for taking time out oh, to speak. Thank you. And I will see you next week in Orlando. Absolutely. Bye, y'all. Right. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>